Ah! Ah! Raptors. They lose 90-89, a very old school type of game, uh, to the Miami Heat. And it's the way this one ended. You had the lead with three seconds left. Siakam gambles hard guarding uh, the guy in the three-point line. He just blows right by him. OG gets a piece on him, but it's not enough. Kyle obviously doesn't play. Serge Ibaka gets ejected, as well as James Johnson. And you see, you see tonight why you miss them so much. Let's look at the assist totals, you know. What does Kyle do so well? He moves the ball. Yeah, everyone's saying, oh, his scoring's down, he's getting old, he's trash. Well, he's averaging seven assists a game. He just came off a double-double, a double-double, uh, when he was when he got injured. And your team only got 18 assists in this game. You see the hole it was made. The ball wasn't moving as much. The guys were knocking down the shots. Look, the Raptors shot a total of 39%, 33% from the field. Did they deserve to win this game offensively? No. Did the Miami Heat deserve to win the game offensively? No. It was a very sloppy game. No one was ever going to remember this type of game, but Miami might. Why? Because they won emotionally, and a big part of this game, the offensive rebounds. 20-7 to seven in, favor, in favor of the Miami Heat. Um, it's just a game where a late collapse loses the game. You know, this team was once down 10 at 1.12 in the, in the third quarter. And they cut it to eight, going into the fourth. And they make a run. You know, they get it to three, then it gets pushed back up to eight, and then back to back to three it was, you know, and then they get it back to five, then it went back down to three, and then you get it to one, and then you take the lead by one, and it goes that goes back and forth one or two times, and then Siakam just gave that up. You got to stay in front of that guy. Don't let him drive for an easy basket. Make him shoot a tough one over top of you. But instead, he lets him go by him. Well, not lets him, but he blew by him. And uh, Raptors lose. And this, this is a tough one because this could have been a really emotional game with the loss of Serge Ibaka, with Kyle Lowry not playing, and with Cleveland and Golden State coming in now. You wanted this win, and to be riding a six-game win streak and... Get your, uh, you know, the Raptors record for uh, home winning streak. That would have been 13, but it's 12. You tie the record. And now, with this loss, I understand, you know, the, the, the Cleveland Gold State games are not losses automatically. Not at all. Kyle Lowry and, and Serge Ibaka both play. Hey, the Raptors have been playing great ball with those two guys in the lineup. Who knows what's going to happen? Now, will it be a tight game? Will it be a tough game? Of course. You know, are, are all the odds against the Raptors? Yeah, pretty much. Just because, why? We're, we're in Toronto. We're in Canada. We always get the low end of the stick, and everyone's going to say, oh, Cleveland's a million times better. Oh, Golden State's a million times better. I mean, Golden State's a freakish team. Why? Because they have a bunch of all-stars, and they buy, bought that team, more or less. Um, but this Raptor team can contend with Cleveland. I think, you know, the way Cleveland has played as of late, not very good. The Raptors, except for this game, but I mean, you could say injuries and in, in, in obviously uh, Ibaka getting ejected with James Johnson. I mean, you saw the loss Serge Ibaka was out there. You know, he, he when he left the game, only played 22 minutes. He had 11 points and five boards and already two blocks. So what you lost there was that rim protector. You know, Serge Ibaka on the defensive end, we've seen it as of late. He's been a freak when it comes to blocks. And yeah, he had two in 22 minutes today. But instead, you lose him, and you lose that edge, and you lose that three-point threat. You lo you lose that good shooter. And, uh, I mean, I think he was 4 of 10 when he left the game. Yeah, 4 of 10. He was 1 of 2 from 3, 2 of 3 from the line. So he was having an all-right all night, but you lose him. And that's a tough pill to swallow. You know, I'm not going to say that this team, oh, you know, should have been a hands-down win like the Dallas game, like the Clippers game, that type of stuff. But you're on the second half of a back-to-back. You played in Brooklyn and you had to travel home. They were sitting here and the game in Brooklyn was in went to overtime. 
So yeah, the Raptors had a very, very tough, what, 20, 24 hours. They had a really tough time. That's why I was so pumped. If they could get this win, it would mean so much going into that Cleveland game, having a day of rest, having feeling great because you've been winning a ton, you know, that type of thing. But this loss, it just, like the Leaf game, it leaves a tough taste in your mouth. But... The Raptors are 28 and 11. Nothing to snub your nose at. Look, Miami, not a great offense in this game, but they grinded it out and they got the last shot. I mean, it's really all it is. Now, now comes Goliath. I mean, you could say Cleveland and Golden. Oh, well, Cleveland. I mean, the, the way they've been playing, you don't have to say they're Goliath, but they're the Cleveland Cavaliers. Back to back finals, you know won the championship a couple of years back, and then you play Golden State, the team who won it last year, been in the finals for how many ever years. So, yeah, you have Goliath. And uh, to all the rest of the NBA, we're David. And uh, we play Cleveland Thursday, 8 p.m. in Toronto. I guess it's a primetime game or something because you're playing Cleveland, right? It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a nuts game. Um, look, if Kyle and, and Serge come back, we need them to, well, I think Serge will. He was just ejected from the game. He should be okay. But um, Kyle Lowry, if he plays in that game, which I'm hoping he does, he was day-to-day -day with the back spasms. Um, you know, I, I, I think ex we were all expecting him not to play today anyways. Even before the injury, I think they said he, would, he was going to sit for rest because of what's coming up. So with the injury, you're like, yeah, we were going to sit him anyways. That's fine. Take a rest. Take tomorrow. And I hope he plays against Cleveland because if he doesn't, it's going to be a tough one again. But if you have Surge, eh, again, it's going to be a real grind. So what are you guys? Are, what are your guys' expectations uh, for these next two games against Cleveland and Golden State? Both are at home, but you're playing these two teams. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, look, we've talked all year about the schedule being favorable to the Raptors. And um, you lose today against a good uh, a playoff team right now. And, um, I mean, yeah, yeah, there were limitations. You didn't have Kyle or Serge late in the game. Um, but you still lost to this team. Now you got to play the two big teams in the league. This is where you prove yourself that you are one of the elite teams in the league. Look, if the Raptors lay down and let these two teams walk all over them, then yeah, they're just gonna. Everyone's just gonna say, "Oh yeah, the Raptors are garbage. Same old thing. Got a good record. Play the crappy teams, and then you play the good teams. And get slaughtered." This is where you change people. This is where the stretch comes in, where you, where where you show people who you really are. All these other teams that don't get to watch the Raptors because they don't give a darn about anybody up here, they're gonna see this. And if we show them that we can play with the best of the teams. They might take note and say, okay, maybe this team is legit. Even though we know we're pretty legit, you know, overall. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about all that. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, and you guys are pretty heartbroken about this game, because, yeah, I am too. Uh, they, they they just got the last shot. That's just the way it goes sometimes. You, lose the, you get the losing streak, but it's what you answer with that really matters. All right, so let me know what you guys thought of the game. How do you guys think the Raptors played overall? Uh, defensively, defensively, they looked all right. I mean, yeah, they had some wide open shots against and they missed them, but so did we. So let me know how you guys think, thought the team played overall. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night, Leafs edition, as the Leafs welcome the uh, Ottawa Senators to the Air Canada Center. They look to bounce back after that miserable loss last night to Columbus in overtime. And uh, we'll talk to you guys, Raptors edition, like we've been previewing for pretty much half the video. Raptors. Cavaliers for the first time this season 8 p.m. tip off at the Air Canada Center on Thursday Whew. here we go we'll talk to you guys then